Brevity is the soul of wit. We'll talk about that and more on this week's Data Decoded. I'm Tom Webster from Sounds Profitable. And in Hamlet, Act 2, Chapter 2, Polonius tells the king and queen, brevity is the soul of wit. Uh, I think we can improve on that a little bit. But I want to talk first about an indication of that that's in some uh, recent data from Podsites. Podsites recently put out their advertising benchmark report uh, for Q1. And one of the principal findings of that report was looking at the conversion rates of pre-roll ads versus mid-roll ads. Uh, and this most recent quarter, as in the quarters previous, pre-roll ads have higher conversion rates. In fact, uh, the conversion rates for pre-roll ads went up. They're now at 1.29% compared to mid-roll ads, which are currently at 1.18%. So it's a fairly sizable gap, actually, at the scale that Podsites measures things. So what are we to make of this? especially given the fact that pre-roll ads are typically a little cheaper than mid-roll ads, should we all just be doing pre-roll ads? Well, I, I don't think so. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of pre-roll ads, to be honest, uh, as a, I guess, as a, as a media strategy. There are very few things that you consume in media that just begin with an ad. You, you get that in movie theaters, but you're, you're kind of a captive audience. I'm a fan of just starting with the content, but I don't think I'm going to be able to to change that here. But I think there is a lot of received wisdom about mid-roll ads being more effective. I think we think that makes sense, right? That people are more likely to skip pre-roll ads and less likely to skip mid-roll ads as they are more engaged in the content. And that may or may not be true. We're not really talking about ad skipping here. We're talking about conversion effectiveness. Now, why is it that a pre-roll ad might quarter after quarter consistently outperform a mid-roll ad when it comes to conversion. I think it's lazy thinking just to think it has to do with the placement of the ad, that there's something about the fact that the ad comes before the content compared to uh, the middle of the content. I'm not sure that's really what's going on here. I have a hypothesis. Uh, may I suggest that a pre-roll ad is typically quite a bit shorter than a mid-roll ad. Generally, a pre-roll ad is about 15 seconds. You might get two of them in a block before the content starts. Mid-roll ads, on the other hand, generally 30 to 60 seconds. You might get two in a block, you might get more. Uh, you certainly might get four mid-roll ads in the course of a podcast. And I don't think that that's irrelevant to what we're talking about here. Uh, I think it's an excellent discipline to try and hone your message to the shortest, most concise, most powerful message you can. Cra crafting a pre-roll isn't just about the position in the pod, it's also about the discipline of getting a message in 15 seconds. And I would submit that every second you are taking a listener away from the content is a risk. Every second adds to that risk. A 30 second uh, spot has a risk, a 60 second spot, potentially double the risk or more depending on people's attention spans if the ad is not executed really, really well. Uh, and one thing I can tell you about the creative execution of advertising in any medium is that longer is not necessarily better, certainly not better for the listener, might not be better for the brand either. Uh, I think it's an excellent discipline to craft something that is short and concise and get you back to the content as soon as possible. Uh, and that I think is a discipline that actually might create more effective messages. And I'll just sort of close uh, that by mentioning that a few years ago, uh, I did a study about the various execution of some of some podcast ads, and I looked at some uh, pre-produced ads, and I looked at, uh, and this is well before uh, we did Safe and Sound, It Sounds Profitable, never really released this data. Uh, but one ad tested far below every other ad, and it was a host read ad. It was a host read ad that was pretty live and ad lib uh, by an, a fairly popular podcast. It's actually a, a big podcast about life hacking and efficiency. So it's kind of ironic that the live ad in that podcast was incredibly inefficient uh, and it went on for about three minutes. And I suppose the brand might have thought, fantastic, we got three minutes for the price of a 30 second or whatever. Uh, but all you did there was drastically increase the risk of A, losing your audience and B, just muddling the message. So it may be, in fact, when it comes to a pre-roll versus a mid-roll, and again, we're talking about small degrees of difference here. Uh, but I think one very plausible explanation for that degree of difference 
is the discipline of brevity and the soul of wit in crafting a short, concise message. Uh, and I will tell you this, as a student of Shakespeare, that's just a crap sentence. Short is smart. I'm Tom Webster with Sounds Profitable. See you back here next week on Data Decoded. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.